A Laguna Heights family is working little by little to repair their tornado damaged home and it hasn't been easy to do, especially in this summer heat. Channel 5's Cassandra Garcia joins us live from Laguna Heights. Cassandra, what's the family dealing with right now? Well, Dina, Rudy, the family is struggling to cope with this heat. Now, this one small AC window unit behind me is responsible for cooling down the entire house, but their roof is still damaged, making it easy for cold air to escape. The family can't afford to fix it. Nearly two months after a tornado tore through Laguna Heights, recovery efforts continue. On this half of the building, you can see this is the main hole right here. And then uh, we got another hole here. Aureliano Silva lives with his parents. Their home was damaged by the EF1 twister. Their home is somewhat livable again, but their roof still needs a lot of work. All I did was put plywood where I could, and, and if we put a blue tarp to cover it, and that's the most we can do right now financially. It's a temporary fix, and one AC window unit is not enough to keep the heat out. The air um, at other days when it was super hot outside, it wasn't, it would shoot out hot air. It's hotter than ever before. Maybe when the roof was okay, it wouldn't get so hot, but right now, um, it's hot. Both of his parents are disabled, so they're unable to work. Silva is the caretaker. He says repairing what was damaged hasn't been easy. They don't deserve to live this way. And if I had the money, I would fix this place up, but I don't. <laughs> The family is hoping someone can help fix their roof or help them buy another AC window unit to help keep them cool in this summer heat. In the mornings, it's okay because it's still a little bit cool, but then towards the, like, from 12 down, it's back. Really hot, you can't breathe, and we just keep on drinking water. The Cameron County Office of Emergency Management says they're working with a volunteer organization called the Long-Term Recovery Group to help tornado victims. The group is working to raise money to buy building materials and gather volunteers to do home repairs. Repairs that are still desperately needed. If they can help, well, I, we really appreciate it, you know, because if I was in good condition and I could do it, I would do it myself, but I can't do it for myself right now. We've passed along the family's information to the Cameron County Office of Emergency Management. We're told they'll be getting in touch with the family to find a way to move forward. Now, if you have any questions about the long term recovery groups efforts, you can give the Cameron County Office of Emergency Management a call at 547-7000. Live in Laguna Heights, Cassandra Garcia, Channel 5 News at 6.